Dude, definitely got to pack a suitcase. They do the Easter egg hunt. Got sunglasses. Oh, is that when he got sunglasses? Yep. Okay. The glasses? They do it for you. I was like hiding behind Grandpa when I went over. Yeah. There. All right, well, how are you beautiful, wonderful, awesome, amazing people doing on this glorious rainy day? The sun is actually coming out. What's going on today, what's going on tomorrow is it is Jazz Championships. If you're here for the trucking aspect of things, no trucking at all. We won't be talking about trucking other than my truck is still broke down, so... We'll leave it there. We're going to be driving a school van today with seven kids in it. The music teacher is going to be driving the Suburban with seven kids in it. And we're going to be heading for Des Moines, Iowa. We perform tomorrow night in Waukee, Iowa for the state championship. As for right now, I'm going to run downtown, grab me a few things that I'm going to need throughout the trip. And then uh, come back up here. By then, they should be ready to go. And we're gonna head to our next school after this because what we're doing is a, uh, what do you call it? A parade? No, a tour. We're doing a tour of schools. You guys have heard me tell you before, here at the school district, we are spread out about 75 miles long and there is a lot of schools in our district. So we are going to go sing show off and promote getting kids into the music program in schools and then we're gonna head over to Des Moines where we will sleep after we go out to eat there'll be more of it this is a two day long video it's time to have fun they earned it I'm just rambling over and over again my car is beeping Airbag. That airbag comes out. I'm doomed. That's all there is to it. Can you see? Vans are not tall people friendly. No, I don't have any of the Rugrats in with me. They're in the school right now doing another performance over at the middle school, or the junior high, I mean. At the junior high trying to get some recruitment for uh, next year's jazz program. Trip's going okay. Quick pit stop off of Highway 169 here in Iowa. We got about another hour, hour and a half till we get to Des Moines to our hotel. Then I get uh, Cracker Barrel. That's what I'm looking forward to. Cracker Barrel. I love Cracker Barrel. One year we were here, there was uh, tornado whistles going off in Des Moines. I think that's going to stay far enough north to where we don't have to worry about tornado whistles. Alright, let's see how we're treated this time. Oh! Yeah, buddy! There we go. Let's go back here. <laughs> this will work. This will work out just dandy. I like it. This is basically why I encourage them all to uh, do so good. Because every time I drive, I get a sweet and I like it. So, it, it, I don't really care how they do. I just want to do really good for I can get this sweet. You know, it has nothing to do with accomplishment or anything. Nah. Okay. Ooh. Two bottles of water. 
you think those are complimentary? I bet they are. Yeah, they probably are. We're in Iowa. None of that fancy hotel stuff probably doesn't exist. You know where the bar costs a million dollars kind of thing. The viewer work. You can see trees. A very nice house. It'd be like three of my houses. Hello, Miss Claire. Hello. How are you? Good. I just want to assess Mr. Cup and I was up to Did you get it? Nope, I've already eaten. Yeah, just making sure the whole group's out. Okay, I think everybody's out. I dare you to uh, find a person who can eat a Cracker Barrel and not think they need a little lay down after that. I'm going to go wander around. I think there's only like five kids missing. That's not too bad when you have 14 of them. I wonder where the five are at though. Open. I've been kicked out of my room. I bragged just a little bit too much that I had a suite. The gal behind the counter here, well, she wasn't happy with all the kids sitting in the lobby playing cards. I don't see what's wrong with it. They aren't causing any trouble. We'll admit they did get a little loud a couple times. But Paige and her friends asked me if they could use my room for that. I said, sure. But if you're going to use your room, I better not, uh, I probably shouldn't. I'm just going to stay out here and chill out for a while. Remember, they're band kids. They're good kids. They just want to play cards, and they do get a little loud, I guess. So I've been kicked out of my room. I did talk to Sarah. Sarah will be down here. I don't know when. Uh, tomorrow, at some point, that she's going to stay with me tomorrow night. Because the kids won't compete until later on in the evening. At late afternoon. And it's supposed to ice and snow. So. I'm going to sit right here. Visit Old Glory. And that's it. Last night when we went to bed, it was uh, it was just shy of 60 degrees. Woke up this morning, we're sitting right at 19 degrees, and it's spitting snow at us. Just five miles north of us got about three inches of snow, so we're doing pretty good here. Now it's time for the kids to have a little bit of fun. We're going to go over to an arcade bowling thing and uh, have some fun, and uh, we perform tonight. All right, Tater. There you go. That's gonna get him. Ah, oh, I left one. I survived bowling, so I figured I would uh, try not to die doing laser tag. Delaney, right there, right there, right there.
Right there. Hey, Mia, Mia, right there. Oh, this I gotta see. Today. I think we're just gonna get more tired than anything. Alrighty, we are at Waukee, Waukee High School. From what I've been told, this high school is uh, one of the richest high schools in the state of Iowa. It's brand new, pretty high tech, pretty darn fancy, and it's huge. I mean, huge. I don't know what to tell you at this point. Nervous for the kids. Um, I just dropped them off. They're all in here now. And uh, I'm just going to not be by them right now because I don't want to show my nerves for them. It's kind of a goofy thing, Dad being nervous for them, but they work hard. They deserve the best. But you're against uh, you're against a lot of good schools on that same note. It's windy. It's cold. I kind of like having my beard. It feels like I have hair. It's blowing in the wind. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. And uh, they're going to do their best. So I was wrong about the schools. Apparently this school is the smaller of the two. There's one that's way, way, way really bigger somewhere else around here. I'm walking back outside. I've watched two performances. They've done great. But my lovely Miss Warden is here. It's very cold, honey. So do I. You have a crown. Because I'm Princess Paige. You're Princess Paige. I also have a scepter, but that's not on the top. Get his collar just right. Yeah. This is the whole thing. Sorry. No. Nope. Not too tight? No. Okay. Here we go. Love 
Since freshman year, all three of them. Since freshman year. I can't remember if it was freshman or sophomore. Nope. And just like that, another Jazz Championship is in the books. We didn't have the finish that we completely wanted. We ended up seventh in the state of Iowa. That's the thing about having uh, judged sports is it kind of depends on what the the judges are feeling like that day and what they're uh, looking for from each team. Um, <clears throat> we are the only acapella group in uh, Class 2A in the state. So some, you know, in the past years, judges have absolutely loved a completely acapella group. Um, this year it has kind of uh, proved a little bit difficult. Most of them are wanting a full orchestra behind uh, the group. So, but we're taking it. seventh in the state is still amazing. That's a lot of uh, a lot of schools that they beat out to make it here and then to make it into seventh place. Warden has already left. She spent the night here last night with us. The kids are all pretty much zombified because they stayed up a little bit later than than usual. Um, breakfast is eaten and uh, the van is running and everybody should be down within the next few minutes and then we'll start heading for home and uh, then we get to redo it all within five days we load the vehicles back up and our jazz band has made it to uh, um, state championships but that's going to be in Ames, Iowa exciting times and uh, stuff they'll never forget I know last night after the concert Things got pretty emotional because Paige and a big chunk of our group is seniors, and this was their last uh, competition together. So they were they were feeling kind of emotional. Dad was too. Quick stop at Eagles, Eagles Landing, I guess it's called now. Um, we're just uh, Avoca, Iowa, just off of Interstate 80. It's just a uh, quick little pit stop, then we'll get back on the road. We got about an hour left till we get back to uh, Maple Town. I uh, just ran into Kevin in there at the truck stop, a subscriber coming out of Idaho. Darn nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> he ran into Paige first. I always. I always get a kick out of that. This page is running around in there with a tiara on right now. And, uh, well, that's just my daughter. All right, so nice to meet you, Kevin. Hi, baby. Did you miss me? Oh, yo, yo, big yagsy baby. How are you? How are you, Opie? I missed you guys. Oh, I hear Rose. I hear Rose over there barking too. There. How was your ride? How about yours? Yours is always great as long as you're out in the vehicle, right? Yeah, but how was yours? We're up here in Sergeant Bluff, Iowa now. This is where I get my taxes done. And I'm running a little bit behave, late on turning in tax stuff. I'm, I'm sure Stephanie's not gonna like me a whole lot right now. Uh, but we're in the Dodge. That way I can bring the boys up, because remember, the, uh, the dually is down. It is two days after we finished up and we got back from our Jazz Choir um, championship run, which is still very puzzling how we ended that. 
we were supposed to be going down and getting the semi today so I finished I figured I'm going to wait to finish this video until I'm going to get the semi that way I can say hey trucks done we're gonna be back up and in the truck but the semi is gonna be two more days just ran into a few little hiccups getting things put back together and uh, he, he asked for two more days for it to make sure everything is solid and the test drive goes good so two more days we're gonna go get first class and she's gonna be finished what have you did you what like in the better? world? It's okay. They're, they're freaking organic something or other, so maybe they're not very good. Organic? I don't know. Stuff? Don't try giving my dogs organic food. Oh! Ow! Yeah, I gotta put the window part way up. No, I'm not worried about your nose is getting chafed. I'm not worried about you getting out, but there's always going to be that one person that's kind of dumb and tries reaching into pet pretty puppies. Panda Express. We were up here in the city at a very bad time. Rush hour, I guess you could call it. Tax papers are handed in. Stephanie will get those all diddied up. Give me a call and say, hey, get your butt back up here, sign these papers, and then we'll be complete. Right now we're going to run over here to Panda Express. I'm going to eat me some Chinese food since I'm up here by my lonesome. From here we'll run over to Mickey D's. We'll grab the boys a couple cheeseburgers. Probably should grab Troy a cheeseburger or something. And then uh, we will hit, uh, hit the car wash on the way out of town. Dude, you can make bank working at Panda Express. If you're a manager, you can make up to a hundred grand a year. And then they pay you just to work, just to service, just like, you know, dish plate food up. I think it was 15, 50 or 16 bucks an hour. And then it said cook, $19 an hour. And it's a franchise place, so cook means just throw some stuff in a fryer. Wow. It gives you insurance too. You okay? Did you survive? I'm sorry. You can only put your nose out. I do apologize. Hi, let me know if you're using the app. What can I get for you? I will take a number seven with only ketchup on those cheeseburgers with a power aid to drink what else would you like? I would like two plain cheeseburgers. Anything else? No, thank you. Your total is fourteen oh nine at the pay window. Thank Th you. And thank you. I am now a robot because that's what talks to us at McDonald's is robots. Please take your money. Thank you. Okay. You too. You look like you got. Hey, that's Opie's. You looked like you got a little scared during that car wash, Opie. Jack's fingers. Mine. These are mine. See, they're connected to me. Opie. Opie, you got one more coming. Man, look at that mess. You're drooling all over Grandpa's seat. We're going to have to vacuum this thing all out again, aren't we?
Our next video is going to have first class in it. Definitely is gonna have the truck in it. But our next video is gonna be another one just like this because the kids head to Ames for jazz band championships. Champ. They made it into jazz champs in Ames. And that's gonna be another thing where I'm driving the Suburban with the equipment with all the instruments in it. And then uh, we'll be there two days. So that's going to be another uh, another video coming up, but the truck will be done at the end of that video. I hope so. Guaranteed. Yeah, it'll be done. It'll be done. All right. I'm going to drop Dad's pickup off, say hi to Rosie and Mom and Dad, and then uh, we'll call this video good. You guys stay safe, and as always, I will see you next time. You want to get this to the garage? Mm hmm it might rain. It might rain. You're right. It might rain. I still can't believe I finally actually gave in to these people. They've been trying to get me to make a video on their bicycle for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm finally going to make a, a video on an electric bicycle. And I'm pretty sure Troy's going to take it off my hands, I'm betting, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I kind of figured. You can you can do the whole video then. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.